Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I wanted to go ahead and just do a, a quick get ready with me. I have this, I don't know that I've ever used this on camera. Um, I talked about in my video about um, brands that don't excite me and, and brands that excite me. I'll link it up in the link, the eye. <laughs> um, that BH Cosmetics really isn't a brand that excites me. But I also felt like I should give it a shot because it's an affordable brand. So um, when I had a 15% off coupon a while ago at um, Ulta, I found this BH Cosmetics Love in London palette. And when I opened it, when I saw the swatches, I was like, eh, I don't really like that. And then I opened it. Oh, I'm going to have to see if I can find the picture of the actual box and put that next to it. But these look so much different than the little swatches on the box. The boxes made it sound like, look like they were like bland, kind of neutrally, more warm colors. But this is a beautiful palette full of cool neutrals. And I really enjoy it. I um, I mean, there are a couple of warm, warm colors in here, but I was like, that's so weird that the outside swatches were just so different from what was actually inside. Luckily, with Ulta, even with the more affordable brands, they have like um, a palette out you can look at and swatch. And I was like, that is beautiful. I consider taking this on my cruise and have a lot of options, but then I saw the NARS palette and I'm just going to take that. But I wanted to play with this today and I figured I would just film me doing it, right? Right. Okay. I have my Hogwarts shirt on today. It says, you can't see it down here, but it says alumni. <laughs> uh, I love this shirt. I'm a Hogwarts. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Harry Potter dork, in case you don't know. I am a Hufflepuff. What house are you? Let me know. So I want to use, I, I the, the colors that I really focus on in my previous looks, and again, I'll try to find pictures and maybe put put the pictures there up. I love this Piccadilly co color; is really nice. Uh, this cheeky color is nice. Big Ben is really pretty. Cheers, um, London. I'm sorry, Duchess, not London, Duchess. Um, today, I want to use Queen and a couple of the more uh, lovely, a couple of the more neutrally, more to the warm tones, because I want to use my uh, Lannister Gold eyeliner today. I know nothing about Games of Thrones, so if you want to talk about the episodes, I know nothing about it. Other than what I read online, and uh, so I'm filming this on the day after Mother's Day, and apparently, apparently they did they, they hated they hated the episode last night, the fans, and then the episode before they like loved, and I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much how fandom goes, doesn't it? <laughs> But I know nothing about it, so. But I still want to use the eyeliner because, um, and I have, while this definitely leans more toward the cool side, it still has some more, I, I can still make it a little bit warmer where I can use that Lannister Gold, so we're going to do that. As always, we're going to start with my Milani Eye Primer. So what's up? What's going on? You guys have... You guys having a good uh, spring so far? I know that in some places, there's just snow and thunder. It's supposed to thunder, have another storm on Thursday, but I don't know. We're leaving. We are officially eight days out as of when I'm filming this, which is just crazy. Let me just tell you, eight days. We are in single digits, people. And I'm super excited. Um, I, I think that I've gone over it enough how excited I am about this. Um, so having set that down, I'm going to take, um, let's see. I'm going to take the color Scone right here. It's a little bit more of a flesh color, but it's light enough where I can use it to set down everything. More on the gray side than it is on the white side, but that's okay. Like a, like a, the matte, creamy, uh, like beigey whites that I like. It's more on the gray side, but that's okay because it'll, it's still light enough where I can use it. 
And then I'm going to go in with Cheers, which is here. And I'm going to go ahead and use that as my transition. I went into Vegas yesterday to uh, hang out with my cousins. My grandma was supposed to go, but she didn't feel good, so... And it was her birthday yesterday, and, you know, she's, she's 86, so we were like, okay, Grandma, no big deal. So instead, I just went and hung out with, with my cousins and my cousin's family. She has three little babies who are adorable. They were not impressed by me, let me tell you. The little boy kept side-eyeing me like, I don't know about you. <laughs> uh, and then at one point, we were at a store, and he asked me to buy jelly beans. And I didn't do it, and I'm like, he's going to hate me forever, isn't he? <laughs> he's just going to know me as that one cousin who didn't buy him jelly beans. <laughs> Luckily, he's three, so I'm, or four, so I'm like, eh, he'll forget. Hopefully. Or I'll just be that mean cousin who doesn't buy him jelly beans. Whichever. Whichever. Maybe I redeem myself when I bought him orange juice later. <laughs> Um, but it was fun. I love my cousins. My cousins, I, I grew up with the best cousins, you know. Both sides of my family, I was really lucky with the cousins that I got. I, I grew up with great cousins. Luckily, I, I was so lucky to grow up on, with both sides having really good cousins. Um, on my mom's side, they're boys. Like, I have two male cousins and then my brother. So, I later in life, when I was like 17 or 18, my aunt had two little girls. But I was like, too late now. So, I grew up with my two male cousins. But they, they were awesome. We had fun. And then my dad's side of the family, um, there's three girls. Uh, there's Yeah, there's three there's three girls and then one male cousin and then my brother and me. And we had a lot of fun. <laughs> we had a lot of fun too. And it's funny because everybody is always like, you look so much like your mom. I'm like, oh, so you haven't met my dad's side of the family. I remember one time all of our girls including my uh, cousin Phaedra's two two daughters um so there was the four of us there were six of us because there was the two daughters and then the four cousins we were at a mall um actually in Vegas one time and people kept staring at us and finally somebody got the nerve and they were like are you all sisters and we were like no we're cousins close enough though it was funny. So whenever people are like, you look like your mom, I'm like, yeah, I did look, I do look like my mom. I, I, I looked a lot like my mom, or look a lot like my mom. But those, those, those jeans on my dad's side of the family are strong. I'm going to take the color Lovely now, and I'm going to put that directly in my crease. Can I help you, Sophie? Hmm? Can I help you? Here's Sophie right here. My dog, I don't know what she's doing. There's no thunder or anything today, so there should be nothing for her to be scared of. A uh, scared of, that made sense, right? There should be nothing for her to, you know, freak out about. I'm gonna take her today and wash her. Um, apparently, I've never seen a tractor supply store. I've heard of them. Um, before we moved here, I, I've never actually been in one or seen one. I'd only, like I said, I'd only heard of them because I know that they had I was surprised to hear that they had a whole pet section. Tractor supply it was weird. And I was like, really? And yeah, they do. They have a whole pet section. But they also have a grooming section where you go in and they have brushes and a whole bathing, uh, like a whole bathing tub thing. And they have the shampoo and everything. And you, you do it yourself, but they give you all the equipment and the room, which is perfect because... Otherwise, I would have had to put her in my shower. I could take her to the groomer. Don't get me wrong. But this way, I'm going to kind of save some money. I'm going to try it myself because I like to give her, I like to give her her bath myself sometimes. In my old house, though, the tub, the tub wasn't that high. Here, the tub is like, it, it, it's really hard to get in and out of. And she has, she's older and she has bad hips. And Molly. I, I have to pick both of them up to put them in because they will not, they'll just want to do it. Otherwise, we'd have to go into my stand-in, you know, my stand shower. And then i just get wet, so. I'm like, eh, we're going to try this. 
Um, so we're gonna go in again with the color queen right there at the gold. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to give Sophie a bath today. The best I can. They even have like dryers there, which was I was like, ooh, she's gonna hate that, but I'm gonna try that. She's so fluffy. So she needs a lot of attention on her fur. And I do take her to the groomer. I just haven't taken her to the groomer since we, you know, since we left, um, left California. So haven't brought her to a groomer out here yet. We've been a little busy. Over here licking my legs like, mom, we don't have to go anywhere. I don't know what we're talking about. Hi, sweetheart. It's good to see you, baby. What are you doing? See, I can get really pretty cool tone looks, but this is beautiful too. I like this palette. Maybe I will take this palette. Shoot. That's pretty. I'm impressed by this BH Cosmetics. I really didn't think I cared enough about it, like I said in that other video, but if their if they're eyeshadows are all like this one, I have not put together a look that I did not like with this. In fact, I was surprised how much I liked the other one. So maybe I will. I don't know. Maybe I will take this one with me. I don't want to overpack. I really don't. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with the eyes for right now. And then we're going to we're gonna come back with that Lannister Gold in a bit. But um, I'm going to move on to my face. Oh, look at these dark circles. There is fallout from those shadows. I just got the the gold all over me but look at those dark spots on my face it's driving me nuts I think it's because I was in the Sun a lot yesterday I think that's what that's why that's like that that is why that is why we have makeup and good screen skin care that is why we have makeup and good skincare I'm gonna take this pharmacy um, SPF put it on my face protect my skin a little bit more since again I think this I think the dark spots are coming out because of the that was too much wow that was too much put that on like freaking moisturizer or foundation that was dumb okay so I've been really highly enjoying this Revlon Candid photo ready foundation in 150 so I'm gonna go ahead and oh wait I forgot. Yeah, I didn't put on my Charlotte Tilbury, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. It's just gonna be like I said. I'm gonna go take my dog and get her clean. I gotta go drop some stuff off in the mail today. And otherwise, I just gotta. I gotta. Um. I gotta do a little bit of filming today. Well, that's about it. I don't, I don't really have a lot of things to do. I'd like to dye my hair. I need to dye my hair before we go on our vacation. Because, like, I got some... <sighs> I got some uh, gray coming out. So I bought hair dye a while ago, but I knew this cruise was coming up. And I, I, I was like, I'm just going to have to redo it before the cruise. So I made some sacrifices and was like, I'm just going to have roots and gray hair for a couple weeks and then dye it as we get closer and then I'll have that fresh for vacation. I wanted to dye it yes for yesterday so that when we had pictures and everything but I didn't because I'm lazy. I did do some of my cleaning that I had to do that I mentioned um, in one of my videos. I mentioned that I had to clean I think it was my last get ready with me. Um, clean the kitchen, clean the living room. I just never clean my bedroom, beauty room. <laughs> I gotta clean my beauty room. That's like my major goal this week is to clean, organize, and get ready for my beauty room because I need I need to get another desk in here before we get back. Because when we get back from vacation, I think I mentioned as well, I'm starting my new job and I have to have my area set up. Because as soon as I get back, I'll have my computer. I'm going to have to set it up and and all that. So I'm going to have to have my desk together in, in here and 
you know, I'm gonna have to, people, is what I'm trying to say here. I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier. Like I said, I am, ugh, dark spots and dark circles for days. I'm not usually, I keep saying that and then I keep doing it in it like every single video or I bring it down really low, but it's because I need to cover up those dark spots. I'm not trying to highlight, like overly highlight. I'm just trying to cover up the dark spots. Oops, there goes my cats again. So last night I was having a nightmare that I had to get rid of my animals and that made me sad. And I was, we were sitting there and I guess I didn't really fully comprehend what was going on in the dream because I was filling out paperwork or some, no, I wasn't filling out paperwork. Um, the, pre, the people who were making me give up my animals, which I really don't know who, it was my dad and somebody else. And um, as I'm sitting there and they're filling out paperwork, there's this lady, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with my cover girl while I talk. Um, there was a lady there was like, I want the little black girl cat. And I was like, Freya? He's like, what? <laughs> and she kept calling her the wrong name. And I kept getting so mad as I corrected her with the name. And finally I like spelled it out for her. And then I paused and I was like, wait, what about Freya? And they were like, oh, she's gonna, she's gonna adopt her. And I was like, what? And I went off. I was like, no, these are my babies. Nobody else can have them. You can't have them. She can't have them. Nobody can have them but me. They're mine. I don't know what I thought that we were doing there. And an obvious animal adoption place. But yeah, this lady was like all ready to take my baby. And I was like, no. She just wanted Freya too. She didn't want Loki with her. And I was like, you can't have either of them. What are you talking about? So now I'm gonna take my Milk Makeup Bronzer. It's gonna be like 90 degrees outside. It's gonna be hot. I'm gonna take my bronzer. I don't know what that had to do with the bronzer other than cream bronzer makes me think of spring and summer. So maybe that's why I was like, huh, we're gonna put this on because it's gonna be hot today. Yeah, it's crazy. Our vacation is less than 10 days away. Like I said, it's eight. Tomorrow is exactly one week from when we get, well, when we get on a plane. We have to fly. We fly on the 21st, but we don't actually get to our destination until the 22nd. Because, you know, time changes, time change and all that. Um, and we're leaving in the afternoon, so that makes sense, but I was like, oh my gosh. I kept looking at, because you know how you can check into your flights 24 hours before. I keep looking to see when we can check into our flights. I'm like, oh, it's almost time. But yeah, so you know how you can check in early to your flights, like 24 hours before your flights. I keep looking and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, it's like seven days till I can check in I'm I have no idea obviously I have an idea because I'm obviously freaking out but you know having not having anxiety about it I'm actually really not I feel like everything is gonna go really good and really nicely and really fun so that's true oh I'm gonna use mechanos today Mechanos today because this is more of a warm tone look. Granted, there's no peach in it, but whatever, it's more warm tone, and Mechanos is definitely a warmy tone. Mm. Mechanos. I love these bucks and blushes. I highly recommend them. Highly. Okay, so. As I've said before, these are highly pigmented as well, so I'm gonna very, very lightly dip into it. Look at that. One little, like, barely tapping it in there. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I might have taken too much off of my hand, but I'd rather build it up than have, like, boom! You got peach on your, on your cheeks. 
Oh my goodness, look how gorgeous that color is. Oh, can you see how pretty that is? I'm so excited. I am so excited. I don't know why. I do know why, because it's a beautiful blush. It's my favorite formula blush. It's called Mechanos. I'm going to Mechanos. I'm so excited. My cat's down here having a field day with his toys. <laughs> Cracking me up. Can't tell him to stop because, well, he's adorable. Um, I think that I'm actually going to use the Charlotte Tilbury as my highlighter, like as my actual over makeup highlighter. Oh, I forgot to set my under eyes. How many of you were like, uh, Kristen? Yep, I got something, girl. I appreciate you trying to look out for me, but I'm an idiot and didn't notice. That's okay. We can go back and do that. I'm going to take my, my Cover FX powder, translucent powder, and I'm going to use that to set my under eyes. Okay, so I'm not going to use that Lannister Gold on the top. I'm actually going to... I'm going to use black eyeliner on the top. I'm just going to use my old standby, the Fenty. And you guys know I can't do this on camera because I can barely do it at all. So I'm going to do this and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyeliner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of Cheers. A little bit of Cheers here. And I'm going to put that under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the beautiful Lannister Gold from Game of Thrones, the Game of Thrones collection from Urban Decay. Now I still stand by that the the Sephora eyeliners are just as good, if not better, than the Urban Decay liners. This is just such a unique color, like such a unique, beautiful color that I couldn't resist it. I just couldn't. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put that really close to my lashes and onto my waterline. Which you gotta be careful with because there is like shimmer in it or glitter in it. So you gotta be really careful with it in your waterline. But apparently I, I wanna risk blindness. Don't be like me. I, I love this eyeliner. I legit. I love it. I'm so glad I picked it up. So glad. I'm going to go in my top lashes with the Milk uh, Kush Mascara. And on my bottom lashes, I'm going to go in with the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. Okay, and then last but not least, I am going to go ahead and... And then last but not least, I'm going to use the Sephora um, Lip Stories Lipstick and Tan Lines. So this is what the packaging looks like. And this is the color. All right, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, like I said, I'm impressed by these. I'm impressed by this BH Cosmetics um, palette. I, I got it a while ago and I've tried it before. I got a couple of really pretty neutral cool looks in, out of it. It's much cooler than it looked like you would guess out of it. Um, but then I just got this beautiful, neutral, warm tone look too. So apparently it's very versatile. Again, this is the Love in London one. They have the, they have one that's like Hawaii themed or, you know, something, something in Hawaii and then dancing in Rio or the Rio one is the most popular destination palette. And then they have a Hawaiian destination palette and then they have this one. Um, I don't know what. I, I don't know what possessed me to buy this particular one. I think it's because it had more cool tones. Um, and it just looks so different from the swatches on the box, like I said. So I picked it up. I'm really glad I did. It is beautiful. Uh, so I might be eating my words on the whole uh, brands that don't get me excited. But I this is the only thing I've tried from Beach Cosmetics. Maybe I'll try more. To do it for me today thank you so much again for watching please like this video if you liked it subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't and i'll see you in my next one bye